Hey everyone and welcome, my name is Carlo Libertini and thanks for hanging with me today. We're going to take a look at stem separation here in the new version of Studio One 7 Pro. Now what that means is you can, yes, take a stereo file, a complex waveform, and Studio One can now parcel it out into individual tracks, kind of like reverse mixing it, if you will. So it can extract drums, bass, guitar, vocals, and other instruments. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Now, I loaded a small demo for us. This is a song that, uh, from my band, it's recorded at 110 BPM, a typical rock band, drums, bass, guitars, and others. And we're going to stem this out and have a little fun. Let's take a listen. Typical rock song, we've got some vocal intro, uh, a little kick drum in there some bass and some guitar. So let's talk about why you'd want to do this. Well, it's kind of really cool. You may come up with reasons to use this that, use this that you've never really thought about before, like remixing. Let's say the vocals were too loud. Well, now you can go in there and lower them. You could possibly replace the drums. This is great for demo writing, great for some remixing purposes and also analyzing some of your favorite songs. I mean, why not? It's audio production and, you know, keep it academic. You can do anything. To parcel this out is pretty easy. Now there's a keyboard command that comes by default. Control U uh, here or Command U and just right click, come up to audio here and choose separate stems. And once you select that, you're gonna be presented with this menu now. Yes, Studio One can now take a stereo track like this and separate it out into its vocals, drums, bass guitar, and other instruments, which would be like maybe synths, acoustic guitars, electric guitars, or something like that. If you didn't want all of those parceled out, then you can just choose vocals, for example, or just the drums or the bass. Let's say you're in a cover band and you're the bass player and you want to learn the bass track to the cover song of the week. Well, now you can you know, load that song in here, separate the bass, and really get into it and figure out the parts. I think that's really great. Where was this when I needed it years ago? But I'm in a cover band now, so I actually have a lot of fun with this stuff. Let's activate all of them and choose OK. Now, what it's going to do is a little bit of magic. It's analyzing the track, figuring out what's drums, what's vocals, what's bass guitar elements, and what belongs in the other track, and it's gonna put them there for you. This is gonna be different for every two track file, I mean, stereo track file that you use. Why? Because depending on how long it is and how you know feature rich it is, how timbre rich it is, I should say. And just like that, we now have this stereo track <laughs> reverse engineered, if you will, into vocals, drums, bass, and guitars. And Studio One is very intelligent. You can see that it automatically muted right here, the original stereo file. It's still there. It's just muted because we don't want to hear it double. So when we play it back, it'll sound exactly the same. So now that the audio has been separated, these are independent waveforms. Again, I could change the amplitude, you know, maybe do some level riding if I wanted. I could EQ these separately. I could probably add a little compression or even some effects if I wanted, or replace some of these elements. If you're writing songs, let's say this was an old demo of yours and you wanted to replace the drums, maybe use the drum machine at one point, but you want your, you know, a real drummer to have a go at it. This is a perfect, perfect tool to help you stay creative. All right, so let's take a listen to just the vocals here. Let's pick a passage right about there. Every now and then I remember when, but I should leave it behind. At least I hear that you're doing well. Let's hear the drums separated. Not bad. Let's hear the bass guitar. Now don't forget, when you're mixing, everything you know, a lot of these frequencies, they, they share a lot of, they live in the same spaces. So when you parcel audio out like this, it may sound a little washy sometimes, obviously, because, you know, it has to, has to 
separate those frequencies that it was once sharing with other tracks. That's why when you play it all back together, it sounds exactly like the original. All right, here's the other track, which would be the guitars. I could probably go in here and re-edit, remix, redo so many elements now. Hopefully you're beginning to see the potential here. Let's have a little fun. We talked about drums earlier. And why don't we do that actually? Let's, let's have a little fun. I'm gonna come up to track, choose add an instrument track, and we're gonna call this one new drums, just like that. All right. Now again, depending on what you're working with or with your, you know, with your audio is, it's it's you know, it will take a little longer to separate out tracks, but Again, this technology, I think, is absolutely groundbreaking. I'm going to go to Browse, and you can pick any of your favorite instruments. I'm just going to choose one of my favorite drum kit instruments and load that, and there we go. Now, all I have to do here is pick a groove. Let's go to eighth closed, and I could sample one. Sounds good to me. And I'm going to drag this onto my track. Now I'm going to mute the original drums, the acoustic drum kit, and let's have a little fun here. Let's enlarge this and let's line it up. And now what are we doing here? We're actually getting in here and we're remixing the song. I'm adding completely different elements here. Let's start right about there. All right. So again, I muted the original drums that I extracted out and I'm replacing them with new drums. Let's see how this works. Wow. That sounds amazing. Now I'm gonna duplicate that, select the audio and select D. And here's the original drums right here. Kind of like a floor tom hit. And here are the new drums. Let me mute the old drums. Uh, it's incredible what we can do. And here's what we created. I think this is absolutely amazing. I mean, we started with a stereo file, an old demo, and we're able to, and when this was recorded, you know, a few years ago, this technology was just a, a hope, a wish, and a dream. But here it is, thanks to Studio One now. You can have this to, you know, add another creative element to your work. This is an old demo. I wanted to add some different drums, maybe use this as an example to tell my drummer, hey, this is a part I'm really looking for now to change the song and bring it up to date. So I can create something like this, email it to him, have him figure out those parts, collaborate with me, and you know what? We're making music again. Kind of like revitalize something. I think that's just really cool. Now that we added some drums, what else can we do? Let's go in here, and I'll keep those drums muted, of course. And let's have a little bit of fun. What about some of the vocals? Let's solo our vocals one more time. Let's go to this part. Oh, those are the drums again. Yeah, let me mute the drums, had the bass muted. There we go. And here's the vocals. I guess that's the way that I live. Okay, a little bit of reverb on there. Why don't we take that separated vocals, add an effects channel here, and insert something creative. Let's go down to Mixverb, an amazing, amazing plugin. And let's go to vocals, let's do vocal echo. And so what am I doing now? I'm taking the vocals that we extracted from a summed mix two track stereo file. Take those vocals out and I'm gonna now add effects individually to something that was once blended in. Let's take a listen. I guess that's the way that I live. Nice. Said, said hello to me, then excuse me, then you said goodbye. Told me you had nothing left to give. Let's see how that sounds in the mix. 
I guess that's the way that I live. Okay, let's bring everything in, except for the old drums. I guess. All right, let me unmute everything here. I'm getting carried away. I love it. I absolutely love this. I mean, hopefully you can see the potential. We added drums and we now replaced the old drums and we added an echo effect on the vocals. Isn't that amazing? So, <laughs> I don't even know. I mean, I'm having so much fun with this. I could actually go back in there and actually replace the bass if I wanted, add a little compression to the bass, re-edit something from the past, or create something completely new, thanks to, obviously, being able to separate the audio with uh, the new feature called Separate Stems here, available to you in Studio One 7 Pro now. So if you haven't tried this yet, I'm sure you're going to come up with a hundred creative reasons to be thankful that you have it. My name is Carlo Libertini, and of course, the best way to find out is to always try it for yourself. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Become part of our family today. We love to have you on board because we make some of the best audio production videos out there, and it doesn't cost you anything. So welcome aboard.